All right, um, I am making this video to answer some questions. Uh, I've had a lot of questions about my particular Masada. And why is that? Well, you may have noticed that I have a suppressor on my Masada. That is not something you see typically. That is because the barrel on my Masada is threaded. Um, this is not from the factory. This is not something that IWI made. Yes, it is unloaded. Uh, by the way, I keep empty magazines for all my guns so that I don't have to lock them back. Um, I knew that going in. Um, but I, this gun was not made by, or this gun, the gun was made by IWI, but my barrel is an IWI barrel, but it has been uh, modified aftermarket by Tornado Technologies. Now, um, <clears throat> uh, I'm not sure how well I can get this on camera here, um, but this, you can see uh, the line here where this is welded afterwards. Um, this is after aftermarket. Um, they added to this barrel, so this barrel does not have uh, threading on the, or not threading, but um, rifling on the threaded area. Um, uh, so it doesn't actually add, and it's a little bit wider than the um, on the inside diameter, I'm not so sure. Let's see if you can see that. You can see there's a shelf in there, and it's not, it's not as, it's wider on the added aftermarket part than it is on the factory part of the barrel. So this does not actually add any velocity to the bullet because it doesn't, it loses that pressure once it gets past that little shelf in there. Um, but it does thread to allow to have a cam put on or a um, muzzle comp or anything like that. But I, I got this specifically so I could use this this can in this. Um, and so I had some questions about um, threaded barrel Masada. Um, what's it like? Some things I had to do to it to get it to work because it did not, when I got it from the factory and I put this can on it, um, sure enough, it, it had some problems. Um, the biggest one being, um, because this gun was not, as far as I know now, Israel, I'm, they probably have suppressed Masadas. I'm not sure. They haven't hit the market yet. And um, I think I've seen one or two crop up on Facebook posts um, other than mine. Um, but I have not seen definite video or footage or anything coming out of IWI that says this is our suppressed threaded barrel Masada. Um, it's all been stuff like this and maybe there's a couple, but they like, I haven't seen any official IWI videos where they have the firearm suppressed. Um, uh, and I say that this gun probably, at least the way it's configured and sent to America, it's not designed to be suppressed. Um, and the reason, the big reason that, that I say that, um, that gives me reason to think so is because this spring, this is your, um, slide uh slide stop spring right here um as this sits in there in your chassis this is what uh pushes it pushes right here on your slide stop and pushes it down so that um uh, it pushes right so that so that it won't uh engage right and when i fire this gun suppressed with the oem spring this right here um it will engage the slide stop. It'll engage the slide stop while there are still rounds in the magazine. Um, so I had to take steps to increase the tension on this. Um, I tried, I tried to track down who makes the OEM springs for IWI um, and have them make me one with another coil on it. I thought that would do it, but um, that's nigh impossible. It's somewhere in Israel and they probably make it in house. I'm not sure, but ordering a one-off spring like that um, is going to be very difficult. I contacted um, manufacturers in here in America um, to make custom springs and um, it was going to be cost prohibitive to order custom springs. I would have had to order a lot of them um, because it costs money to retool uh, their machining to, to make a new spring to, to a custom order. So it was a little cost prohibitive. So what I ended up doing is I basically kind of searched around and searched around and found until I found something that was kind of the right size and maybe a little too long um, and so I could cut it down. Um, so this is actually not an OEM spring. This is the 
bolt catch spring from an Italian BM-59. If you're not familiar with the BM-59, it's a it's an Italian conversion on the M1 Garand that turns it into 308, makes it magazine fed or but box magazine fed rather, um, detachable box magazine. It's kind of like the Italian um, M14, and so um, I happen to have one of those because I had a, a BM-59. And um, I noticed that it was the same diameter and, and everything as this spring right here. Um, and so I had an extra one and I cut it down, put it in there. Um, and to give it a little bit extra, a uh, little bit extra, I actually have a sliced up rubber band where it's, I have a little thin strip of a rubber band gone down inside this donut right here and placed down in here just to give it a little more extra um, uh uh, extra tension just because I'd rather err on the side of caution um, because it is much better to have your firearm like so it's, if it's got a little bit too much tension let's and it doesn't lock open um, I'm I'm okay with that that's something I'm willing to put up with because um, it's much better to have your gun not lock open on its last round than to lock open when you're in the middle of firing. Um, let me see if I can't get this back in here. Oh, I don't know. Nope, this pin's not going to work. I need a screwdriver. Well, unless my phone falls, right? I forgot my tripod at school because it, <laughs> I don't do this for a living anymore. It turns out like anymore I'm a high school or a middle school teacher. So this is just for fun, right? So now as far as... That's, that's really the only problem that I've had um, with shooting this firearm suppressed is, um, is that uh, uh, the, the slide stop right here. Um, I can, you can feel it, like it's, got, it's under a lot of tension. Like I can, and when I push that up, I can really feel it. Um, but, um, and sometimes when I'm shooting, it won't lock open, but like see, I'm, this is a brand new magazine. I don't even think I've put any rounds through this magazine and it locks it open just fine even with that tension there um sometimes i've had it fail to lock open on you know sometimes but like i said i'm more willing to deal with that than with uh um having it lock open in the middle of a of a magazine um uh, other than that uh this can the can i'm running is um this is a blackhawk mini boss which is a discontinued can they don't make them anymore but it is a um, copy of a uh, of the Omega 9K. So um, if you're running, if you have an Omega 9K, or if you're running an Omega 9K, uh, this thing's rated for 300 all the way up to 300 blackout full auto. Uh, so um, it's just handles this nine millimeter just fine out of this gun and this can. I think I generally get um, by my very inaccurate. Um, measure that I have on my iPhone decibel meter. Um, I think I get uh, 110 decibels at the shooter's ear um, with um, with this can with supersonic and 100 su with subsonic. Um, but once again, that's not professional equipment. That's like an app on my phone. Um, on my with subsonic, it's uh, it's hearing safe with subsonic 9 mil, um, 147 grain. It it's uh, uh, it kind of sounds like a paintball gun um, with this, but I haven't had any reliability problems that weren't because of the can itself. It was always because of the spring. Um, the gun itself holds up really, really well. Um, I did notice that I've got so I keep taking this thing on and off. Um, I did notice that I get some weird uh, wear marks right here on um on my uh on my slide like right there um from some blowback uh apparently um it, it's t it before i got this gun coated, it was taking the finish off and now it's taking my coat off um that's fine i i, I got this coated because the gun looked like trash after all i've put it through i've put this gun through hell um i've buried it in sand uh, picked it up out again and shot it. Um, I initially bought this gun, um, or this gun originally was, um, I, I, it was the candidate for a lot of experimentation, like, um, this threaded barrel. This was something I wasn't too confident in doing when I first did it. 
Um, and I figured, well, this gun was only 400 bucks. Uh, if, uh, if I break it, I'm not going to be super heartbroken. It's not as heartbroken as if I busted up like my USP or my Jericho or something like that, especially my Jericho, because my Jericho is very near and dear to my heart. I've had it forever. Um, so, uh, but this gun, um, through all that, because I have done so much to it and it just keeps chugging, uh, I have a lot of respect for this gun. Um, uh, outside of that spring needing more tension, um, it, it works just fine. So if you, if they ever have, I, 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 I bet if they have threaded barrels in the future, this is something that IWI probably, um, we'll figure out or know about. Um, I certainly talked to IWI US and, and told them what I found out about this. Um, uh, so somebody somewhere is, I, is su you know, supposedly aware of it. Um, I couldn't say, uh, but uh, knowing the Israelis and knowing how thorough their testing and evaluation is, if they are threading their Masadas and suppressing them, they know about this. And the only can that I think that wouldn't do this would be like something from OSS, which, uh, you know, the IWI US uses OSS stuff anyway, it seems like. Um, so, um, so if you have an OSS, go ahead and do it. Now, th thread that. If you're not, be aware that you might need to do something to increase the strength of your OEM spring in here, um, up to and including replacing that spring. Um, but uh, uh, with so shooting this suppressed is very pleasant. Um, it definitely helps with the recoil, <laughs> having this big suppressor on. Um, um, I am definitely more accurate with the suppressor on. The suppressor does not change the point of impact at all for rounds. Um, if I zero it without the suppressor and then shoot it with the suppressor, they're ex still exactly on target. Um, uh, this suppressor is a little fat. Um, so that's why I'm using like with my raised sights don't actually quite see over the suppressor. Um, these are Trigicon night sights, but my R or this is an M not an MRO. Um, <laughs> it's not an RMR either. It's a SRO. Aha! See? I, so this SRO does, I picked the SRO specifically because it does sit up high enough to see over this can while the RMR does not. Um, so that's why, you know, I went with the ostensibly less rugged SRO, but it's still a Trigicon and I'd still be willing to bet my life that this SRO will work when I need it to. So, you know, but as far as suppressed, uh, that's it. Um, uh, once again, like the last video, I will answer questions in the comments. And if you leave comments, because I'm going to post this on Facebook, um, I'm not a YouTuber. Um, and unless I keep getting requests for videos, um, I will, you know, I'm not going to, you know, I don't really make them. I don't make them um, for anybody but people who ask for them. Um, if you want me to branch out and go into all sorts of other IWI stuff, uh, I can do that. I have lots of IWI goodies around here. I'm one of the, I'm, you know, us uh, fanboys. I guess I call myself fanboy. Um, it's a little disingenuous, but uh, uh, they just happen to make their philosophy of firearm making, of making guns that are tough and combat proven and will there they they prize reliability over everything else that coincides with my philosophy with firearms because what good is the gun if it doesn't work right um so the it that coincides with mine and they just happen to make guns that i really 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 like it's not the only guns i like but you know if you're gonna pump out you know, winter after winter after winter, you know, the Tavors, I love the Tavors, I love um, my, I actually love the old SAR better than the X95, you're going to keep pump pumping these winters out, I'll, 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 I'll stick with you, right, you know, so, all right, well, thank you, uh, and uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Yeah.